Hi there. In this video, I'm going to review the FitDesk 2.0 exercise bike so you can learn the benefits and the drawbacks of this product and make a better buying decision for yourself. I'll also show you where you can get a great deal on it with fast shipping. Okay, now this is a major improvement over the first version of the bike, which really left a lot to desire. And um, the nice thing is that it's, it's a huge upgrade over that previous version. And let's go ahead and first start with the assembly. Now assembly was relatively simple. On average, you can expect about one and a half to two hours uh, because there are a lot of pieces and you kind of have to go step by step. The instructions are very detailed, although a little bit too detailed, to be honest. They have lots of parts labeled and it can take you um, anywhere from one and a half to two hours, depending on how good you are assembling stuff. Um, if you have a ratchet wrench and ratchet screwdriver, it can make your job a lot easier than to use the little tools that are included in this package. Okay, now with the the computer display, it is a major upgrade over the previous version. You've got your time, distance, calories that you can see. And um, it also has a little tab that goes into a slot in the back, holding it nice and secure at the center of the back of the desk. So it's in a convenient location. However, just keep in mind that if you have your laptop screen up and open, then it's gonna block that display. Um, so you won't always be able to see it if you're on a a uh, relatively large laptop. The tabletop is actually textured so your laptop or mouse doesn't slide and it also has a small desk drawer where you can keep uh, a few smaller items and this way you know your whatever whatever device you have on the tabletop is not going to slip and slide and they also have an extra wide version that you can buy separately although just keep in mind that the basic version is a bit narrow it's better suited for smaller laptops. The arm wrist rests that come on this machine are soft and comfy. They allow you to kind of relax your arms and work for a longer period of time. There are 10 resistance settings on this bike. One feels like there's no resistance at all. And 10 is a ton of effort. So if you keep it around five, you're gonna get an average workout, or if you go up to like seven or eight, then you can get a very good, you know, quad conditioning workout um, with those resistance settings. Now, one of the cool things about this um, bike is the fact that it can get a lot of use and still hold up. You're talking about a whole family, you know, biking two to three hours a day for four days a week, and even after an entire year, of use, it has stayed pretty quiet and looks pretty new as well. So uh, that is a definite plus when it comes to the durability of this bike. You can continue using it and your entire family can, uh, can continue using it as well. The other thing is the saddle is wide and soft and so is the backrest, which makes this bike super comfortable to sit on. And they're both fully adjustable with the height and it's very easy to do as well. So if you have a couple of people, one short, one tall, you're looking at about 30 seconds to set and reset it uh, based on the different height settings desired. So a comfortable bike and very easy to adjust for your unique and individual settings uh, for your entire family. As I said, it takes about 30 seconds to, uh, to change up the height settings. The whole thing folds up easily so you can get it out of sight if you have people over. And the bike seems to be about 50 pounds, which is really light for a piece of exercise equipment. So definitely something that you can transport and it is portable and folds up easily to conserve uh, space as well. Now, the couple of things that uh, that could be better about the bike, first of all, the, um, the saddle or the seat that you sit on, it would be nice to have different degrees of movement, greater freedom of movement, especially if you can move it forward and backwards to adjust it even more. Of course, you can adjust the height, but it would be nice if you can move it forward and backward to get even greater uh, customization per individual. And another thing is that with the grippy textured surface of the tabletop, mouse movement can be a bit inhibited. The mouse isn't gonna, your mouse isn't gonna float very freely on that surface. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Other than that, definitely a very durable bike, very functional. Um, it's, uh, it's light and portable and uh, it can help you burn a lot of calories and get great fitness in while you're at home just watching TV or working or reading. 
So with that said, if you want to get yourself a great deal on the FitDesk 2.0 and also get fast shipping along with that, then go ahead and click the link in the description box below this video and you'll be able to get yourself a great deal on this bike and you can even qualify for fast shipping by clicking the link in the description box below. Hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Hi there, in this video I'm going to review the FitDesk 2.0 exercise bike so you can learn the benefits and the drawbacks of this product and make a better buying decision for yourself. I'll also show you where you can get a great deal on it with fast shipping. Okay now, this is a major improvement over the first version of the bike which really left a lot to desire and um, the nice thing is that it's, it's a huge upgrade over that previous version and let's go ahead and first start with the assembly. Now assembly was relatively